Okay, I'm going to show you how to import uh, DTED elevation from SRTM into ATAC. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, click on the heat map uh, elevation controls icon and I'm going to show heat map. And there's no heat map now, though, because um, uh, there's no DTED or SRTM underlying. So I can't really show you what that is yet. We'll come back to that in a minute now that we have that on. I'm going to use the red X. And you see up here it says, in the upper right, it says feet MSL. It means we have no elevation understanding at all. I'm going to import now some uh, SRTM that I downloaded from the USGS Earthworks website and zipped up into a single file. Here it is. This is uh, Michigan, Kentucky, Virginia, et cetera. 721 megabytes um, uh, compressed. I'm going to choose zipped DTED directories. And it's going to unzip that and it's going to put it on my internal uh, device. And if you don't like that, you have to manually move it to your SD card again. Um, it's still working. It takes a little bit to do that. But once it's done, I'll be able to, oh, so sad. Uh, let's go back. So you see the, the dot is gone from the red X there. That means it can't, uh, it's no longer moving. You see, when I click now, you don't get it. When I turn it back on, now I click here. You see, now I have the elevation. And as I move up here, I, you, see, you see where it's hotter up here, and as I zoom in, if I had very high resolution, that would be very nice. For instance, uh, contour maps look very nice with this. Um, and so I can, with the red dot, I can lock it off and it will just stay at that point. Or I can move it, long press, and it goes off all the way. Okay, there's a little bit about the heat map, importing, and the red X.